Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and you're watching Fabio's Kitchen, where every week we'll bring you an amazing dish made by me. Today, we're teaching you guys how to make pizza in a pan. Yes, we're gonna make pizza your home on your kitchen counter with a stand-up mixer and then we're gonna cook the pizza on the stove in a cast iron skillet. Nothing is better than pizza done at home with a good glass of red wine. Perfect, let's get to it. Now, a pizza, it's a little labor of love. You can make and eat pizza in 20 minutes. So this is a phase, there is some few step process that we have to go over in order to make the perfect pizza. But once you have done the dough, you can even freeze it, stagger that, and have that worse for three months while. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add all-purpose flour to a stand-up mixer. Then, we're gonna add some dry yeast. The amount of yeast that you're adding, it will be reported in the back pack of the, of the, the box of the yeast, you know? This is, a, there is a lot of variety of yeast out there. Fresh yeast, dry yeast, natural yeast. I'm not gonna tell you how much, I'll give you the recipe for it, but you just adjust according to the weight, water, and flour of your recipe. And again, the direction are normal in the back of the pack. Just follow those. You don't want your pizza to overproof. Then, I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. Sugar activate yeast. Yeast eats sugar as much as you eat pizza. Yeast, you, sugar, pizza. You see where I'm going with that? Sugar. Then, we're gonna add some dry powder skim milk. Why, Fabio, you're adding milk in your pizza? Well, I'm not adding milk, I'm adding milk powder. This will improve and balance the perfect texture. Remember, your pizza tend to be very soggy because of all the ingredients on top. And also, pizza in a pan is not gonna be as dry as pizza in the oven. So this is to make your life easier in the kitchen. We're cooking this in a pan. So you're gonna need some help from the milk that will keep the crust nice and moist and not make it too dry, all right? Lower. And we're gonna start mixing. I got some warm water. The water has to be warm. Pizza doesn't activate the yeast very well. Pizza dough and yeast don't react too well with cold water. It will make the process a lot longer. If you add warm water, it will speed up the process twice as fast. All right, once the pizza dough is ready, just get it out of the hook. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get a very large pan, just like this. <gasps> Good save, Fabio. Good save. I was about to waste precious wine. My wine. Here's what we're gonna do. Get the dough, cut it in half. These will make two pan pizza. Try to shape the dough in a round shape like this. Place it in there. Same things with the other. Guys, this is not Napolitan style pizza. This is not deep dish. This is a homemade pizza, all right? If you got the hitch for a homemade pizza and you wanna do a bunch of dough and save it in your freezer for the time to come, this is the way to do it. I'm not teaching you how to be a fantastic pizzaiolo for the southern region of Italy. I'm teaching you how to take the craving of pizza out of your universe anytime you're home alone and you want pizza. This is how we do it. Like this, and then cover this with a wet towel. Get a clean wet towel and cover this like that. <clears throat> Because you have used hot water, the pizza already starts to inflate. In an hour, this will be twice as big and twice as large. And then the game is almost over. Now, you got an hour. What are you gonna do? I mean, seriously.
About an hour has passed. Are you ready for the revelation here? See? See what happened? The dough has raised. Softer. Look at that. It's perfect. So now, here's what we need to do. I have a cast iron skillet. Now that the dough is fluffy, I'm going to get a little pen spray. Really quick. Very light. Put it there. Low fire. Hit that up. Then, I'm going to get a bench scraper, a little bit of flour. Pizza there. Some flour. I've done this for years in Italy. I used to work in a pizzeria when I was a little boy. We were doing like a thousand of them a day. Not in the pan, in the oven. But still, I've had enough pizza in my life that if tomorrow pizza will disappear from the face of earth, I'll be very sad, but I think I'll be okay. So you gotta stretch this like this, right? Stretch the pizza to the point that the side are about the size of the edges. Now this is a little bigger than you actually need it, but that's okay, because as the pizza cook, it will shrink a little bit. Now we're gonna turn up the fire a little bit here. We're gonna get our pizza. And we're gonna place it inside here, like that. You're gonna kind of adjust the edges a little bit, just like this. Now the pan is hot, so you have to be careful, right? Just like this. Now when you add tomato sauce to your pizza, you have to make sure that it's nice and thick. Look how thick is this. If you add a watery tomato sauce, it's not gonna work because it's gonna get your pizza all soggy. That's why I suggest you for your homemade pizza to add the my tomato sauce that we taught you how to make in our videos. When you add cheese, same thing. It's fresh mozzarella, there's dripping milk when you squeeze it. It's not a good option. Get mozzarella log that are drier and they melt without adding extra moisture to it. Then, couple of leaf of basil. Look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. Higher fire. In this case, fire is your friend. So what are we doing here? We are exactly cooking the edges of the pizza and the bottom in a cast iron. This will seal in the moisture and will create almost like a, a protection layer on the bottom. And then this go in the oven and we're gonna finish it. Now, what I was talking about when I said you have to cook the bottom before you put it in the oven is this. So probably the best angle is you. So if I lift this pizza, you just get the bottom and I wanna see the bottom crispy, nice and brown. Look at this. You see that? You see the bottom crispy, nice and brown? Yep. That's exactly what I'm talking about here. Now I'm gonna get this and finish that off in the oven. Be right back. All right, all right. <clears throat> Look at this beauty. In a pan. What? Look at the beautiful crust. The edges, see, listen. It's crunchy, it's not soggy, look. It's really nice and crunchy, listen to this. Hear that? Look.
Look at this. The milk has retained all the texture in it. Allows the flour to bloom and not get soggy. This is amazing. Pizza is not too dry, but it's crunchy. And this is very hot, but I think I have to do this. It's very hot, isn't it? Oh. I already burned myself once. I burned myself multiple times, actually. Ah, 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 ah. Can you hear? Super crunchy. Ah. Oh. It's delicious, but it's really hot. Oh, man. All right, let's try one more time. Pizza in a pan. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen. Boom. Ah, really hot. Woo. Woo.